வெல்கம் டு செசில் டால்ஸ்டன் யூடியூப் சேனல் இன் அ நியர்லிய வீடியோ வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் கம்ப்யூட்டேஷன் ஆஃப் டெப்ரிசியேஷன் அண்ட் டபிள்யூடிவி மெத்தட் யூசிங் எம்எஸ் எக்ஸல் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஷெல் டிஸ்கஸ் கம்ப்யூட்டேஷன் ஆஃப் டெப்ரிசியேஷன் அண்ட் டபிள்யூடிவி மெத்தட் யூசிங் எம்எஸ் எக்ஸல் வென் த அசட் இஸ் இனிஷியலி பாட் இன் பிட்வீன் இன் எ ஃபைனான்ஷியல் பீரியட் வி ஹவ் ஆல்ரெடி சீன் இன் தி earlier video that the rate of depreciation is found out by using the formula 1 minus nth root of scrap value divided by original cost that is 1 minus scrap value divided by original cost whole to the power 1 by n and the amount of depreciation is found out by multiplying the written down value and the rate of depreciation we have also discussed computation of the amount of depreciation under wdb method using db function in ms excel is equal to db open parenthesis cost comma salvage comma life comma period comma month close parenthesis cost is the original cost of the asset salvage is the scrap value at the end of the useful life of the asset life is the useful life of the asset in number of years period is the year for which depreciation amount is to be found out and month is the number of months in the first year if it is omitted it is taken as 12 in the earlier video we had the original cost as rupees 240000 scrap value as 20000 and the number of years as 4 and we followed this uh, you know the rate of depreciation this formula 1 minus scrap value divided by original cost whole to the power 1 by n by applying that we got you know uh, by applying this formula we got 0.46271503411 as the rate of depreciation then we also uh, computed the depreciation for various years for the first year as 111051.61 and for the second year you know 59666.36 uh, and so on and we also computed what is the wdv at the end of you know each year okay so at the end of the fourth year we got rupees 20000 which is equal to the scrap value this we already discussed in the earlier video now we shall discuss when the asset is purchased in between in a financial period say on the beginning of the 10th month if the asset is purchased at the beginning of the 10th month if it is beginning at the beginning of the 10th month if the asset is purchased in the first year you know the months in the first year will be 3 so there is no change in the rate of depreciation you know due to this so the rate of depreciation remains the same but the amount of depreciation and wdv will change okay so let us have the same rate of depreciation okay uh, the same rate of depreciation and the original cost is also the same 240000 let us copy it now uh, we we had to find out depreciation for the first year is equal to original cost multiplied by rate of depreciation it comes to you know 11051 now what is the adjustment that we had to make is it is it is used only for 3 months so multiplied by 3 divided by 12 that is equal to 27762.9 as usual let us find out the wdv at the end of year 1 it is original cost minus depreciation for the first year so it comes to 212 237.1 let us find out depreciation for the second year is equal to wdv at the end of year 1 multiplied by rate of depreciation now this is for 12 months so you know we just uh, simply leave it out we don't take into account the number of months okay so 98205.3 let us find out the wdv for the second year it is wdv at the end of year 1 minus you know depreciation at the end of year 2 okay we got wdv at the end of year 2 let us find out the depreciation for the third year is equal to this wdv at the end of year 2 multiplied by rate of depreciation here also 
the asset is you know we got to compute depreciation for the entire year so it comes to 52 764.23 now let us find out wdv at the end of year 3 it is wdv at the end of year 2 minus you know depreciation for the third year so it is 61267.57 now let us find out the depreciation for the fourth year wdv at the end of year 3 multiplied by rate of depreciation here also the asset is used for you know 12 months okay so depreciation is computed for 12 months now what is the wdv at the end of year 4 wdv at the end of year 3 minus depreciation uh, for the fourth year so it is 32918.15 let us find out the depreciation for the fifth year so wdv at the end of year 4 okay so is equal to wdv at the end of year 4 multiplied by rate of depreciation multiplied by 9 months here 9 divided by 12 so it is 11423.79 let us find out what is the scrap value okay so wdv at the end of year 4 minus depreciation for the fifth year okay so it is 21494.36 but what should be the scrap value it is 20000 there is a difference of 1494.36 why there is a difference and how we have to deal while preparing the asset account we shall discuss after you know computing depreciation under db function okay db function we have already discussed in the earlier video go for this one insert function there you choose you know we have several functions choose financial there db okay it asks for these details cost b2 cell salvage b3 cell then life d2 cell then the period for which we find the depreciation so year one number of months it is d3 cell okay we will get 27780 there is a difference between these two it is because the rate is rounded off to the nearest three decimal places in you know db function we will move on to the second year is equal to db okay we will do it like this fx insert function right financial there we choose db okay cost is this cell b2 salvage is b3 cell life is you know um, this one d2 cell then period for which we want to find out the amount of depreciation second year two month it is d3 cell okay so the amount of depreciation is 98 257.86 for the third year we will compute like this is equal to db open parenthesis b2 comma b3 comma d2 comma third year for which we want to find out so 3 comma then months in the uh, first year it is d3 close parenthesis enter so we have got the amount of depreciation 52764.47 we will do it for the fourth year is equal to db open parenthesis b2 comma b3 comma d2 comma we want to find it for the fourth year so 4 comma d3 close parenthesis enter so it is 28 334.52 we will find out for the fifth year is equal to db open parenthesis b2 comma b3 comma d2 comma we want to find out for the fifth year so 5 then comma uh, d3 close parenthesis enter 11 4 11.73 okay now if we sum up the amount of depreciation that we have found out using db function we get close parenthesis enter we get 218548.58 now i want to subtract this amount of depreciation from the original cost in order to find out what is the scrap value so the scrap value is 21451.42 it is not equal to 
20,000 again. The difference between these two, 21,494.36 and 21,451.42 is because of, you know, this one. Namely, the rate is rounded off to the nearest three decimal places. Okay, so that is the reason why we get the difference. For example, let me take it here, 0 0.463, okay, nearest to three decimal places. Now you see the scrap value remains the same. The depreciation, you know, in both the cases remain the same. Let us go back to the original one, namely 0 0.46271 Okay, now I will show you the asset account, which I have already prepared. Okay, so let me copy this uh, asset account from here and uh, paste it. Um, let me paste it here. Okay, so the asset account which I have already prepared. Okay, now if you see the asset account, you know, initially the asset was purchased for rupees 240,000. I have taken the depreciation amount from here 27,762.9. So buy balance carried on, two balance brought down in the second year beginning. Then again, depreciation I have taken from here. Now you see there is a difference here 3298. 918.15 in the fifth year beginning balance brought down depreciation if you give this amount 11423.79 and you know the scrap value will be getting only 20,000 the asset will not get tallied in this case what we should do okay in this case what we should do what we have to do is here the depreciation amount we have to take like this is equal to this balance brought down minus scrap value namely 20,000 so the remaining amount you know is taken as depreciation in the last year okay so WDV at the beginning of the last year namely the fifth year minus scrap value is taken as the amount of depreciation in the fifth year so that the asset account gets closed okay so this is the amount we have taken 12918.5 one five okay 12918.15 so let me you know give you a logic for this why do we do like this okay is it correct let us check it now uh, when the asset is purchased at the beginning of the uh, year one we have seen that the amount of depreciation you know, we have to calculate only for four years and the amount of depreciation is this. Okay, what we have found out in this, I have taken. Now, the asset, you know, uh, is uh, used only for three months in the first year. Okay, therefore, of the total depreciation, 11052, you know, meant for the first year, we had to take only three months in the first year. So, I am taking like this, is equal to this cell 11052 multiplied by 3 divided by 12. So, what is the amount of depreciation? 27762.90. So, this is the you know amount of depreciation for the first year. Okay, so uh, that is equal to uh, here it is nothing plus this one. Okay, so 27,762.9. While moving on to the second year, okay, depreciation of the previous year, that is the first year, okay, of that we have to take 9 months. So, okay, so is equal to this amount multiplied, okay, by 9 divided by 12. Then 3 months of the second year so is equal to this amount okay second year into 3 divided by 12 okay so the total amount of depreciation to be charged for the second year is the summation of these two so it is 98205.30 while moving on to the third year okay we have to take nine months of depreciation of the second year so is equal to second year depreciation multiplied by 9 divided by 12 okay and 3 months of the third year so is equal to this amount of depreciation into 3 divided by 12 
okay so let me find out what is the summation it is 52764.23 moving on to the fourth year i have to take you know the previous year the third years depreciation into 9 divided by 12 9 months then 3 3 months depreciation of the current year so into 3 divided by 12 so it is 4306.05 so the summation is 28349.43 moving on to the fifth year okay what happens is previous years depreciation we have to take 9 months into 9 divided by 12 okay so current year 3 months nil therefore what is the amount if you see you know 12918.15 therefore you know the total amount of depreciation to be charged is 220000 original cost 240 minus scrap value 20000 okay now you see for the first year depreciation remains the same 27762.9 Second year computation, yeah, 98205.3. Third year, the same. Fourth year, 2849.43, same. Only during the fifth year, okay, when we compute manually, we get 11423.79, okay. And uh, if we distribute like this, we get 12918.15. That is what we have taken it here, okay. Opening balance of uh, the written down value at the beginning of the year minus scrap value that we should take i said you know uh, when we distribute like this we get so this is the logic behind you know charging depreciation during the uh, fifth year so in this video we discussed how to compute depreciation and the wdv method when the asset is initially bought in between in a financial period so in the next video we shall discuss you know, or we shall make a comparison between Halsey and Rowan method of wage payment. So, for further discussion, comment or email to Cecil Dalston at gmail.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cecil Dalston. Thank you.